Cornel West decided to compete for the post of the President of the United States. He said that, if he succeeds, he will abolish NATO and become the ideal leader of the country for Russia. And indeed, this candidate may well compete with Biden. Cornel West back in the Cold War years was an aide for the USSR. In the confrontation with the United States, it is worth noting that this black man has a strong Christian faith. He renounced the movement that promoted racism because the ideology diverged from his Christian principles. He also rejects Marxism, although he himself resembles Karl Marx in some ways in his revolutionary intentions. Now Cornell is an intellectual, a public figure, a professor, a philosopher, and a theologian. People have come to love him more for his acting charisma and his persistent preaching of Christianity. It is a living symbol of active struggle against oppression in society, the political system, large corporations. West even participated in cinema, playing in the famous film The Matrix. In general, Cornell can be called a very prominent communist figure. He's very persistent and restless. Energy in him was also enough to qualify for the post of President of the United States. Although he does not aim to win, he's more interested in preaching socialist ideas. And experts consider West a dangerous rival for Joe Biden. Cornell has an excellent campaign program. It's especially ideal for Masco. After all, the new candidate wants to dissolve NATO, close all military bases of the alliance in other states and all because he resists the rules that the Democrats have established, and he's always critical of the current ruling elite. West also did not like Barack Obama, considering him a defender of oligarchs and the creator of a killing machine. Cornell ran for the post of American leader through the Green Party. You can't call it a strong contender for the Democrats, although here much depends on how much the public will be disgusted with the Democratic Party candidates that they will decide. That's it is better to choose from the Green Party. It is safe to say that Joe Biden is not the most pleasant and desirable presidential candidate for Americans today. There is a high probability that Cornell will pull a good number of voters to his side. Of course, it is unlikely that he will win, but he will definitely be able to take away some of the electoral participants. Perhaps this will help the Republicans win. Most likely, the American youth will go to West Side. Young people do not seriously evaluate the candidate's capabilities. They are mostly guided by the principle of like-dislike. So they don't like Biden, they don't like Trump, but they adore Cornell. The fact that West promised to write off education loans, which have become a burden for students, also played a good role in this, but it's impossible to explain to young people why they shouldn't vote for Cornell. It's not because he's unworthy of such a high office. He won't get it anyway. But by taking votes away from Biden, he can carry Trump to victory, who will trail by a small margin. The end result will be a repeat of the politics of a few years ago. Yes, and West himself can't explain it. He has a lot of revolutionism in his head and messianic stubbornness. For Joe Biden, though, losing is not the worst development. He has a bigger problem, a lawsuit in case the FBI proves that he was bribed by a company from Ukraine, allegedly. There are audio recordings to prove it. Although the Republicans promised to impeach old Biden back in May, his rating is falling along with the economic situation in the country. And against this background, the Republicans plan to avenge their leader Trump by the same means by which he was removed from power.